Oh, you fucking kidding? <coughs> he's done the op- he's done the opposite of Omar. He's gone fucking MEA. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know where you're coming though? Right, it's alright. Right. Just get here as soon as you can because we've literally got bang on an hour. Alright, it's in a bit blurry. Yeah. Who's that? Ronnie, as usual. Done to the wrong address. Daft as a brush. Yeah. Yeah? Alright. <laughs> well, let's see, you know, um, Ronnie's gone to the wrong place. He's gone to the one in the airport. He fucking works with Steve every day, so no, he's good. He's gone fucking MEA. By the way, did you go? He went here, here for the game. Right, we've got one, two, three. What? Wait, what? Came over for the game? No, Ronnie's gone to no, the game. Wait, he's not going to go on the weekend. MEA. Yeah, bro. <laughs> but then on the weekend, Omar will come here. That's what he was at. <laughs> yeah, that's why Omar Combined AQ of the team is like 12. <laughs> <laughs> so this is what the shape we're going to have. D-Ray at the back, Jay just in front of him, and then we're going to have Mikey and D-Ray, uh, sorry, Mikey and Aftab sort of, as a play this one as a full-back. Right. Um, I'm coming in a little bit. So yeah, so the fullbacks are obviously in the half space, aren't they? Yeah? Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. what we're looking for. It. Kieran and Joe are wide. A B stay in the centre. What we're looking for is you and Nosa to sort of link up and try and draw someone out into the space, yeah? After time, you're there just as a, a link to we want to see the underlap. So kiss is on Aston. Kiss. Got a big win. Draw what your ears. Yeah. Kieran, sorry, you're on this one. What? I told you. I told you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's no switch on. <laughs> <laughs> D-Ray, yeah. D-Ray, Jay. Yeah. After time, Mikey, Nosa A B, Joa, Kieran. Yeah. Yeah. Okay? Will, you're going to be left back. Back four is going to be Otzi, Rai and Omar. I'm going to have a midfield three of Callum. If, you want to, if you're happy of being the six, be the six. Dom and John. And all I want to see you do is control the space on a maximum fucking communication and they're going to be attacking us, all right? Hey, can we keep the ball? What? Can we keep the ball? Yeah, if you want to score, <laughs> I'll get them to turn that net round. Yeah, yeah. So in fact, we've got to stick one of the keepers in there and one up there. Yeah, yeah. Get a guy. 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 Friday session. For what, 35 minutes late? 30 minutes late? 35 minutes? <laughs> <laughs> Maths, why are you filming? <laughs> you to, um... Stay! Stay! Ronnie's here! Where do you want him? No, sir! Mikey, Mikey, no! Mikey, feet! Now see if this was a game day though, it'd be sound I'm going on again. I'm going on again training. Which way did it go? In which way did it go in? I have a feel. Josh shut the fuck up. Do you want to push back so she doesn't stretch out on the pitch? Do you want to just move it? It's not too bad. Though. Not too bad. How many do you need, Matty? So where's the worst pain? How many? At the front. Probably there. How's that? Stings a little bit. The contact from this side. Contact when I've gone to flick it, I've come down and I've not pl- you landed rolled it properly. Pre-season, okay. he damaged his. Okay. Did my ligaments. Yeah. So you probably you've just probably overstretched them ligaments. Just keep an eye on if it goes swollen or bruised, and if it does, just ice it. He won't. I best not be benched on weekend though. Fucking few. I'm be honest. He'll be better by Saturday, so. Are you saying he's, he's no good for Saturday, is he? No good for Saturday, is he? 
I definitely been that. up. Paddock are back in league action this week, taking on Newton Lee Willows for the second time this season. Last time out against them, Paddock lost 4-0 in a very physical and aggressive game. The weather was absolutely roasting as well. It was so hot, but a lot different today. It's a miserable day, but who doesn't love playing football in the rain, eh? The boys are looking to put things right today and come away with three points. Mikey, why, why, why did we get slapped last time we played these? Uh, what else? We shot. weren't good enough <coughs> as a team. Could have shot more. We couldn't get past the low block. What happened against yeah. these was we did not fucking keep ourselves plus one. The most fundamental fucking thing in defending, plus one. The second thing we didn't do against these was the midfield did not back the defence up. When they broke, and all they're gonna fucking do, boys, is hit it long and chase after it. You are in for the most fucking Brexit kick and rush you've ever played against. And it's a massive pitch, so they're going to be fucking lining these up like Johnny Wilkinson in the last fucking minute and just fucking sending them. That's all they're going to do. So that means, defence, you need to be fucking side on. And you two ain't the fastest. So you're going to join them and make a back three. And you're the guy that's going to sweep up behind these two. Okay? But the most important thing for me is that we did not play like ourselves. We looked at them going, fucking oosh, have some of that, and went, oh, we should do some of that. That's not who we are. We play fucking football on the floor. Jay, no sir, KO, today we are going to have a hundred fucking passes each. You've got so much fucking space to play in. It's 70 fucking metres wide, this. That's longer than some of the pitches we've played on. But what I want to see more than anything else today is fucking patience on the ball. We don't need to score in 10 seconds. And the longer we have the ball, the less time they've got a fucking score in. Tire them out. Take the sting out of the game. If they're as up for it as they were in the last game, you're going to have to take some sting out of it. And the way you do that is you ball the fucking pants off them by passing it around. Right, let's start with a fucking seriously intense warm-up. Start how we're going to fucking go. I want names, I want fucking instructions on your passes, and I want some fucking noise and intensity because I want to fucking smash these lot today. And I'm not having what happened in the last game. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, we had a great uh, turnout in train, training this week, uh, which helps, helps, helps a lot. Uh, we've, we've run through everything, we've had lots of changes, um, but I think it's a great opportunity for us today, for the players who are, are playing, to uh, actually sort of, you know, put their stamp on them being there all the time. We've got a great young player uh, playing, who we've, we've got high hopes for, it's Callum, isn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. So, so, yeah. yeah so we, we, a great young player who, who I think really should be uh, what we're looking at as the future of the club. Someone who can progress with the club as the, cl the club grows. Well, we've got a lot of players away today, but I don't want to. That, that's, that, that's absolutely no excuse. We've got 11 players on the pitch, and they've got 11 players on the pitch, and the 11 we got, we feel can compete against them. So, and with all, that's with all respect to them. Do you know what I mean? We 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 uh, we didn't do well against these last time. Hopefully, we're in a better place than we were last time. Hopefully, it's a more competitive game, and hopefully, we get a win. Nice and quick. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come Good, then again. One more, one more, one more. You got like, uh, well, actually, I think the, the final count is 13 missing. We lost two today as well. So um, the starting 11 is pretty much, I mean, the only first team player that's on the bench is, uh, is Joe. It's not a performance thing, it's just a rotation thing. Him, Ronaldo, Kieran, not a lot between them. It was his turn. Outside of that, it's all the rest of the first team players that was available. Um, I had to bring Tommy back. Tommy's been busy with work and not been able to you know, train or play for a while. He was actually coming back to train next week. So I spoke to him and was like, well, you're going straight in. So I'm hoping he's not too rusty. He looks like quite trim, actually. He said he's been hitting the gym, so hopefully he's, he's sharp because he's not played since. I think the last game he played was actually when we lost against these. Um, Callum playing right back. Um, 
I know this game's going to be physical, and I know this game's going to be a big long ball game. Um, Tommy and Ryan, excellent in the air, big strong men, essentially. You know, Callum 16, the opposition are going to look at him, target him. And uh, I didn't want that. But what he's got is excellent ball playing abilities uh, and a, a good switch in him as well. So that's something that I want to um, focus on, utilise and, and really stretch with. So I want to get him on the ball. Uh, and the way they play and the way we play, I think the positions I'm expecting him to take up and get on the ball will be very beneficial to us when we're in possession. Yeah, we're looking to exploit him in the wide areas. Kieran and Ronaldo on the correct sides should be um, going direct exploiting him behind their full backs and, um, and then getting Tom and no into the box so? we, we want to win the league don't we we yeah. want to win every game it's hey, what, what McKenna just said get stuck in first half we'll get stuck in we'll get stuck in we'll celebrate the tackle yeah. Yeah. everybody celebrate yeah. it together can't afford to lose games like this if we lose though. games like this we're not winning the league so we need to win won't get drawn into anything stupid as well yeah. like we did last time mm. people are giving it just ignore it Play our game, we'll win. Keep it a level head. Yeah. Stay together, boys. I don't want to hear nobody moaning today, no arguing, no nothing. We'll stay together. If something happens, we'll sort it out at half time, we'll sort it out after the game. But on the pitch, we'll play. Yeah. Alright, All right, come on, boys. Let's start them, boys. Let's start them, boys. Are they out yet? Or should we go back in? No, no, no. Stay out, stay out. Nice really. No, wrinkles, but. So this is our paddock lining up, 4-3-3 formation, new keeper Dan debuts in goal, a back four of Callum, Ryan, Tommy and Mikey. Callum is making his second appearance for the club today, a midfield of Coyote, Janeiro and Nosa, and the front three for today is Kieran, Ronaldo and Tom. Come on paddock! And here we are again, another league game, Stretford paddock getting us underway, shooting from left to right, red shirts. White shorts, Newton Lee Willows, yellow shirts, black shorts, and Newton Willows are straight on the attack and is driving forward straight away. And the player ball behind Stretford Paddock's defence, but Dan with his first job of the day and he does it well. Newton Willows going long again. Their intent is very clear. Once again, the turn in the Stretford Paddock defence, and Dan once again he comes out and he's, he's sweeper keeping, but now he's left his net exposed. Can Newton, Newton Willows take advantage of this? Gets a shot off. That's a poor shot. And Stretford Paddock managed to keep hold of the ball. Dan was very, very lucky there on his debut. And that's got to be a foul. And the referee says, yes, foul. Stretford Paddock trying to feel the weight into this game. Newton Lee Willows pressing on. And here they go again. Picking up, picking up the ball in Stretford Paddock's half. Driving forward. But Janeiro comes out with the ball. And Newton Lee Willows have started really, really well today. Their intent is very clear. They're on the front foot. Stretford Paddock are going to have to get a grip of him. They've started very well. Good turn. Left hand side, Callum. And now Newton Lee Willows are in again. Left hand side of the penalty area. Play it across. Is it clear? Can Stretford Paddock clear the lines? They can't clear the lines. It's still bobbling about. Deflection. And it's in the back of the net. And it's 1 0 to Newton Lee Willows. And it's five minutes on the clock. And listen, let me tell you something. Newton haven't come here to mess about or play games. They're come here, they've come here to win this game. And they've started very well. Look at this. You've got to clear your lines. The ball's bobbling about. Stretford Paddock don't clear it. Gets a shot off. Deflection past the keeper. There's no chance for Dan. And it's 1 0. It's 1 0 to Newton. And Stretford Paddock are going to have to sort themselves out. Mikey on the ball. Left, left, left back. Plays it forward. Trying to put some patterns together at Stretford Paddock. The referee says free kick. They take it quick. Now Kieran's in. Left hand side, he's got Tom on the edge. Tom picks up the ball. Can he get a shot off? Oh, and the shot comes off, but he goes over the bar. Good effort. Mikey, well played. Jay, well played. Kiss. That's fucking better. Dan with the goal kick gives out to Callum. Playing only his second game for Stretford Paddock today. Newton New Willows pick up pick up the ball again in Stretford Paddock's half. Going across the field. Can he get a shot off? Mikey tries to get his foot, but the referee says no. I saw one too many challenges. That's a free kick. Free kick to Newton. Can he get a shot in on goal? Over the ball. Good save from Dan. Good hands. Dan with the goal kick, plays it out wide to Mikey on the left-hand side. 
He's looking to play a ball. Janeiro tries to give him an angle, but Mikey goes long instead over the top. Can Kieran get there? He does get there. He gets his head to it. Now he's in on goal. Can he, can he find the finish? And he finds the finish. He got his toe to it and the ball hits the back of the net. And that's a wonderful goal for Stratford Paddock. 16 minutes gone and it's Kieran Molly again. Let's take another look at this. Mikey with a lovely, delightful floated ball over the top of Newton Lee Willow's defence. Defender hasn't got a clue where it is, but Kieran does. And listen, it's 50-50 with the other defender here, but he gets there. He gets his toe on it and that's what a little bit of pace can do for you it can get your goals and that's a wonderful goal for Stretford Paddock Newton New Willows Stretford Paddock South play it forward left hand side of the penalty area Callum's able to pick up the ball but Stretford Paddock still don't clear and that hits Dan's hands and they've got to be very careful at the back there well done Kay <laughs> Mikey on the ball. Plays it forward to Tom. Good feet. Trey plays it across the, the area, but no one's ever caring. He picks up the ball. He said oh. it's a good save. Very good save from the keeper. Is that a free kick? Yep, yeah, it is. Stand it! Stand it! Stand it! Newton Willows, they've really set out their store to try and play this game in Stretford Paddock's half early on in this match. And they're doing so. They're playing the ball about with ease. They're finding feet. Just taking the time, trying to probe, trying to find those spaces. Stretford Paddock going to have to stay aware and alert. Edge of the area. Little step over, good feet. Gets a shot off, and that's just over the bar. And that's dangerous. Mikey again is quickly becoming the outlet for keeper Dan. He's looking for the ball inside, finds Gennaro this time, gets it back. Plays it forward, Tom. Drops short to collect the ball over the halfway line. Jeff Paddock trying to move into the final third. Play goes on. Kieran's on the ball again, the pace goes up. Tries to find Ronaldo. Or is it no, sir? And the, and the referee brings it back. Free kick. Mikey. Outside the area, and that's in the back of the net, and that's over the goalkeeper, and that's 2-1 to Stratford Paddock, and Mikey, hit another free kick, listen, you can always trust him on the ball, can't you, do you know what I mean, that wand of a right foot, he does things with it, that's what he does, he always creates a bit of magic, does Mikey, and he's done it again, 2-1 to Stratford Paddock, right before half time, and you can't complain, but listen, let's have a look at this again, free kick, the goalkeeper, he's got his hands. He thinks it's going over the bar, the silly donut. But the ball hits the back of the net. The ball hits the back. He got his angles and, and his mathematics all wrong. But listen, Stretford Paddock and Mikey are not complaining. It's 2-1. Let's get his end line. Hello, hello. Keep going, yeah. Good first half from Stretford Paddock. Started slow, but got back in the game. And they're going at half time with the lead, which is the most important thing. Are you serious? Are you serious? Are you okay, bro? <laughs> uh, there's two things I'm going to change for the second half. Um, okay. Callum and Mikey, can you two switch? Yes. Mikey, go right back, come left back. Keep playing the same game. Just the like guys that only fucking front that they've got. And I just want to put the ball around. They're doubling up on that side of him every time. Was that free? I think we'll fucking smoke him. So I just want someone that's a little bit more agile and you'll get on the ball more on this side. So we need to have a calm on that side as well, they're doubling up every time. I'm just fucking switching. I thought fuck up with you, but I'm not. And the other thing that I want to do is just <coughs> your starting position be a bit deeper and your starting position be just a little bit deeper, and I want to play out through that and build. Because we haven't won a single fucking edit <coughs> from a goal kick. It's the only fucking time that we're giving them the ball. Um, and when we do get on the ball in midfield. I, I don't know if we've just got a bit used to playing at NBA where we can trust a, a 17 yard pass rather than a 14 yard pass. But can we just be a little bit tighter as a free? Because there's been some beautiful football played down our side. Well, all we've done is one touch and move. And I think if we can hold that in the middle a little bit, we'll, we'll cut these. And uh, fullbacks don't be in the wing, be in the half space. That's a very important fucking distinction because it's very easy then to suck everyone over. And when we are sucking everyone over, we're not, because the pitch is so fucking big, we're actually yeah. not able to fucking fully hit it, are we? Yeah. So it's important you three stay nice and tight because you three can then start shipping it over. Otherwise, a little bit more composure and we're fucking good, lads. We are winning. Don't feel like we're winning, does it? But we're winning, right? So let's go out there. Let's double our fucking score. Let's keep working. 
And let's try have a little bit more composure, <laughs> a little bit more quality with the balls, and we'll fucking see this happen. Right, they who's they fucking winning this second half? Yeah, right, yeah. who fucking's winning this second half? Oh, oh, well, 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 I well, I and we get the second half underway. Stretford Paddock with a narrow lead, 2-1. Shooting from right to left in this half. Newton New Willow start on the ball and they knock it long down the right hand side. Good feet. And again, Newton New Willow starting this starting this half to quite similar to the way they started the first half with intent to play the game in Stretford Paddock's half. Good battles going on all over the park today. But Newton and Willows come across with the ball. And they're in across the halfway line. The plate to the right hand side. The number 11's in on goal. He cuts inside. But as Dan come out, he comes out and claims the ball. That seemed like a fair claim to me. The referee agrees with me as well. Guys that know football, eh? But listen, Kieran's on the left hand side now. Driving football. Driving forward. And the referee's had... Oh, it's a red card. Who's he sent off? He sent off one of the Newton Lee Willows defenders and Tom's having a right old clap. He, he agrees with the referee. He's still clapping. He agrees with the referee. So he must have saw something and the referee's not messed about. So Newton Lee Willows have got, got their work cut out. The 2-1 down as well. Right hand side though. They're still on the attack. But Shepherd Paddock come away with the ball. Play it forward. Play to Nose's feet. And he gets tackled with a slide tackle. And the referee says, no, get up and get on with it. And he has to. So he's up. But Newton New Willows play the ball long over the top. Good clearance header, but he falls to one of their players. Turns on the edge of the box. Can he get a shot off? And that should be easy for Dan, and it is. Callum, right back. Leads it forward. A nice long ball behind Newton New Willows. But no one's getting on the end of that. So that was a bit wasteful. But the keepers come out. And he's kicked it forward, but Stretford Paddock, and there's a mistake in there. And now Stretford Paddock are driving into the area. The ball comes to Tom. N good feet. Oh, that's lovely feet. Right foot. Oh, and that's just past the post. What am I watching here? That was Champions League feet from Tom. Absolutely fantastic skill. And he was very unlucky there. Great effort. Throwing to Stretford Paddock. Coyote on the turn. Using a bit of strength. Plays it to the right-hand side. Once again, Callum picks up the ball. Loads of time and space. Can he find a pass? He goes long again. That seems to be the way forward for Stretford Paddock. But Kieran gets that left foot, right foot. And that hits the back of the net. And it's 3-1 to Stretford Paddock. Hey, that came out the blue. But listen, Stretford Paddock playing red. So it all matters. And it's a wonderful goal for Stretford Paddock. Excellent stuff. <laughs> listen, it doesn't matter how you get him. So long as you get him. That's the motto. Do you know what I'm saying? And Kieran was there again. Callum, he took his time. He found a pass. And listen, he went long. Everyone thought it was going to nobody, but Kieran is on his heels and he got across the goalkeeper. The goalkeeper once again is in no man's land. Mathematics all wrong again, but Kieran, lovely right foot finish and Newton New Willows are down. 3 1 down. Jeffrey Paddock on the attack. Lovely left foot pass out wide to the left hand side. Kieran, good control. He lays it forward. Gennaro's running onto the ball, picks up the ball, gives it back to Kieran. He's going to stand up the defender as we know. Step over, cuts inside. Plays the pass now to Ronaldo. Can he get a shot off? No, he gets shouldered off the ball. The referee says, no, eat your bread and water. You've got to be strong. When you go in for 50-50, good tackle. Fair. Well, Shefford Paddock win the ball back again, do they? And that's a good tackle for me from Tom. Excellent tackle. But the referee doesn't like it. I think that was pretty. I think that, that was fair. And I think it's a bit petty that he won the ball fairly and squarely for me. But the game goes on. Newton New Willows on the ball. Play it infield. Good tackle now. Stretford Paddock are driving forward. They've got five on the attack. There's three defenders. He plays it forward to Ronaldo. Can he finish? And then it's gone. It goes wide and it's a good tackle, I think. Good tackle from the Newton Lee Willows defender. We got his foot in there. And the ball went wide. <laughs> what time do you know it kick off? Tomorrow. I know what I'll do. I'll check the one football. Here we go. If a pilot driving forward, it was Ronaldo. He's going in on goal, and the goalkeeper gets his hands to it. Newton New Willows. Clearance from Mikey. Balls bobbling about. Janeiro, one touch, and then a lovely, delightful ball over the top. Left hand side. Can he drive into the penalty area? Sizes him up, tries to get him on the turn, the defender comes back, and that's got to be a penalty. 
That's got to be a penalty from the referee. What's the referee see there? What's he giving? I don't think he's going to give it. No one can believe it. There's hands on heads. Let's take a look at this again, because at the moment it's 50-50. The defender, he tries a lunge. He gets on it. The ball doesn't touch the ball. And that's got to be a clear penalty. Listen, where's VAR when you need VAR? It's not about at this level, but it doesn't matter. The referee's in charge. He said no, so I've got to agree, I've got to, got to agree with him and get on with it the same way the players do. Newton and Willows fighting on the ball. Good shoulder barges there, fair from the referee. The shoulder barges are still continuing after the game. And here we go again. There's a lot, lots, lots of pushing and shoving. And that's a big huff. That's a big huff from the new, from the Newton Lee Willows player. The referee's going to have to get involved there and sort this out because there's pushes going on all over the place. And I'm sure he's taking note of who's doing what and what's going on. And it's getting a bit out of control and it doesn't really need to. It's been a pretty fair game up to now. And the referee, he's having, he's having a look from a distance. He's taking names, clocking who's doing what. And I think he's going to call somebody over for a word. He's having a word with one of the Newton... Oh, it's a red! It's another red! Shreffa Paddock getting spoken to from Jarrow as well. What's the referee going to give him? Oh, it's a red for Shreffa Paddock! And the referee's not messing about this afternoon. He loves that red card. Both teams have got men sent off, but Shreffa Paddock still leading 3-1. The end of the game is near. The referee's playing added time. Newton Willows are trying to find a goal to just give them something to, to chase in the last few seconds. But right about now, their defenders are chasing Mikey down the right-hand side. And he's piling forward. He's got two men free in the penalty area. Can he find one? Skips past the defender. There's two free. Can he find one? He comes across. Oh, that's a great save from the goalkeeper. Absolutely fantastic save. Listen, you've got to give credit where credit's due. Wonderful save. The game's still going on. The referee hasn't blown up yet. Newton New Willow still want a consolation goal off of some sort. Just to try and say it was a close game. And they knock it long. Trying to go over the back of Stretford Paddock. The ball drops. Is that a foul? Referee says no. And he's in the back of the net. And he's 3 2. What's going on here? 90th minute. And Newton New Willows get a goal. But let's take a look at this again. Because I'm sure Stretford Paddock are going to feel aggrieved by this. Because that looks like a foul to me. But listen, you've got to get on with it. Dan can't get there. The volley's on for Newton New Willows. And that's in the back of the net. And that's three goals to two. And the game's still going on. Nine seconds. Jeffrey Paddock trying to keep the ball in the far corner. Newton New Willows, no one attack could do it for them and they could get an equaliser. Mikey. Sizes up the defender. Takes him for a jog to the left-hand side and there's the whistle. Full time. Three goals to two to Stretford Paddock. What you've seen today is grey clouds and five goals. But listen, when you turn up for a match, it's all about the three points. And once again, Stretford Paddock have found the three points. And they can't complain about that whatsoever. The referee, he had a very interesting day. A couple of reds and that. Do you know what I mean? But listen, it was a good game. Both teams tried to go for the win. But luckily for Stretford Paddock, they got it. Take a look at the league table. They're in seventh on 16 points. Do you know what I mean? Five wins this season, two losses. They're going to have to improve that the three points off the top four, which I'm sure they're going to push for as the season goes on. But overall, good game. Some decent performances there. Do you know what I mean? Kieran got on the score sheet again. Excellent stuff. 3-2 win, three points. Everybody goes home happy. Until next time. We could have done without everyone getting involved there with the red. Joe Red, that's shit that. For next season. He literally... Someone's flew into the back oh, and also the 17. He's not got sent off, by the way. And then Joe just ran over and like pushed him back. Yeah, he, 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 Joe did something. I saw him. He went like that into him, and the ref saw him. I thought I was getting. I thought I was getting over as well. No, because you were just pushing and shoving Joe went like that yeah. up to his neck. But it made hard work of that today. We knew it would be a tough, scrappy kind of physical game, and I think the first half we allowed the opposition to sort of dictate that a little bit, and and we played in a tough, scrappy sort of physical manner rather than the, the the technical quality level of football that we can play and I thought in the second half there was there was more of that. Not exactly perfect. Um, but I, I think the nature of the way the game went um, sort of dictated how the game was played rather than the other way around. I, I thought we could have dictated the tempo and, and the quality of it a little bit better than we did. Yeah, we've had a difficult week with numbers and availabilities this week and um, and Gennaro was ill before the game he wasn't even meant to be playing today so big up to Gennaro for, for digging out and digging through and I thought that was probably a, a 
a reason why he was as quiet as he was today. He still had a, a solid enough game, but he didn't dominate the game like he generally has done. Um, but we come away with three points. Uh, and even though the, I'm disappointed we allowed them to score at the end, it should have been 4 or 5 1 in my opinion. We had the opportunities, we didn't take those opportunities. Um, but three points is all that matters. If we win every single game, it doesn't matter the, the goal difference, it doesn't matter the scoreline difference, if we win every single game, we'll be champions. And ultimately, that's what we're trying to do. I was going to gonna say, is it, is it too, too early to start thinking maybe a little late push with promotion? Yeah, it is too early. Yeah, <laughs> It's absolutely too early. All we can do is take it a game at a time. Are we improving? Yes, maybe not demonstrably today, but we are improving. The the chemistry is improving within the team. We're, we're very hard to beat. I think people would um, agree. We dominate games. We create chances. We're a force in this league. We will, no matter what happens, we're going to be in the top three or four, five come the end of the season, no matter what. Whether or not that means we can win the league, I'd say it's a massive outside chance of that at the moment. I won't be talking about that just yet. Does that mean we can get promoted? Same. Like you know. I think we'll be there or thereabouts, but I wouldn't certainly be calling that as yet. That is the aim, though. You know, we're not just going to make the numbers up in any league or any division that we go into. We go in there wanting to be as good as we can be. Right now, the the goal would be to finish with as many draws and losses as we got, and as many in the win column as we can rack up. Yeah, yeah. What do you think of the game today? It was good. It was competitive. Yeah, yeah. I thought maybe in the second half we could have maybe killed them off after they get went down to ten men, but we held in. Unfortunate to lose the goal, obviously, a minute to go. But yeah, I mean, I, I was, I was, I was, when I was asking Steve earlier, I was saying, like, how much do you think like playing on a pitch like this compared to 4G affects trying to play out from the back and play on the floor? Massively, because you just don't know with the bounce, with the baubles, especially today it was a bit wet, so you come at a different a different speed off the bounce, especially. So we're, we're, we're a ball playing team, we want to play football from the back, but I think today we just had to maybe. Clear our lines, got and press up high at the park, but it wasn't quite working in the first half, so we adapted it in the second. Uh, Try to play a little bit more. Yeah. I think that side on that half is a lot better to play in on this side. Yeah, you can see, you can literally see the patches, can't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, like, do you think that's a good sign of a team that they can adapt and therefore, do that? therefore, because like we, we can't have just plan A. We need to have plan B and plan C. Plan A, plan A is always playing out from the back and playing our stuff and what we're good at. But if that's not working, we need to adapt, change, and we've got players in the park that can quickly adapt and and just make yeah. that work for yeah, us. Yeah, well played today, man. Cheers, mate. Thank Smashed you. It. Real fan ownership, real fan input, real fan change, real fan power. 50 plus one, we can go better than that. 100 plus none. Download our app, view the free content, read about the club, that's fine. But if you want more, become a member. To vote, to go behind the scenes, to make an impact interact with a global community around the world influencing how we grow where we play club ethics and values the more members we have the faster we grow support the club run the club own the club this is ours and no one will take it away the future is in all our hands